Santa Claus, the plump, bearded man who comes down the chimney at night. Everyone knows of him. What about Santa Claus? <laughs> okay, first off, is this a story about Santa? <laughs> like, that fat guy who gives you presents? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna kill that? Like, I get a story about Krampus. Like, Krampus is like the anti-Santa. He's supposed to be the bad guy. I don't, I don't know about the whole Santa being evil thing. I'm just, I think this already isn't gonna sell it for me. I had my encounter with him. I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. Let's get this over with. It all started Christmas Eve at five. I was at my aunt's house. I was eating some turkey and I saw a shadowy figure at the doorstep. I heard a scream and it sounded like someone was being murdered. That was so sudden, you don't even, like, oh, uh, I don't even know where to begin with this. So, you're gonna tell your story about Santa. There's a shadow, someone's being killed. Is it Christmas night? You never even specified that. Is it just like, you know, July and you're just like, hey, I encountered Santa Claus. is in my house for some fucking reason. I don't know. I assumed it was all in my head. And I was a little tired. I was only 11 at the moment, so I was really dumb. Isn't everybody? No. No. I know seven-year-olds that would probably, you know, get the fuck out or call the cops, you know, if they heard a scream. You're not supposed to mess around with stuff like that. You're not, you're not supposed to just blow it off. You gotta call the police. Call the police. Gotta call that police. I put cookies and milk up for Santa, and carrots for the reindeer. My little sister, Angelica, was only six at the moment. You know, if she heard that scream, she probably would have called the cops because you're a fucking idiot. She wanted to stay up and wait for Santa to come. I obviously said no, because I knew he would never come. She kept bugging me, and eventually I gave up and said yes. I grabbed a blanket and my phone for entertainment. You, okay, you, okay, so you're, you're, let's get this straight, you, you're sure that Santa isn't real, right? So right now you're sure that Santa doesn't exist, so you just want to crush that little girl's spirit, you know, she stays up and nothing, I would have just gave her a bottle of NyQuil, six bottles, twelve, thirty-two bottles of NyQuil, right there. Angelica gave up at around eight, I just stayed up and drifted to sleep. Some sound came out of the kitchen and I woke up, I assumed it was just the ice maker. Did it sound like an ice maker? Did it did it sound cuz ice makers have sounds that are distinct. You fucking idiot. If it didn't sound like an ice maker, it's probably not an ice maker. But the noise grew louder and louder until I couldn't take it anymore. I realized Angelica wasn't next to me. My mom must have brought her to bed. Me, on the other hand, was too heavy to be picked up. The presents weren't under the tree, and the cookies were not bitten. I walked to the kitchen to turn off the ice maker. My dog Jack was breathing at the window. Stupid dog. Is this courage now? This is courage though. This is fucking... Okay, so let's get this straight. You're, you're calling your dog stupid for being a dog. Is, is that what's going on? Is that what's going on? If your dog's barking at a window, I mean, they're, they're not stupid. It's probably something, even if it's something mediocre, it's something. I realized it wasn't the ice maker making the noise. It was coming from the backyard. The only plausible explanation is an ice maker in your backyard. It's the only way. I went back to the couch and played on my phone for five minutes. I heard footsteps and assumed it was my dad coming to put the presents under the tree. It wasn't. It was a thin, bony man with a hook as big as your computer. Okay, uh, okay. yeah, different sizes of computers. Uh, is it, you know, people watching slash reading this could have towers, you know, half as big as a room or like a little netbook. Which one? You gotta give us a definite size here. He was pale, had dark blue eyes, as blue as the ocean at dusk. Oh! used a simile. He's got the basics of writing, ladies and gentlemen. He used a fucking simile. His hair was dark brown, and he had a few gray strands. He was dressed in a Santa suit, five sizes too big. The ground shaked as he walked, and the dog barked. He bent down and shut his mouth with his big hook. I yanked the blanket over my head. My hands were too shaky to call 911. 
I held my breath for 15 seconds. I let out a large gasp of breath. I think he heard me because I felt him lay the hook on the blanket. He yanked the blanket off me, and his blue eyes laid on me. He stared at me for a few seconds, then took a hold of my shirt and lifted me up. He stated, Your presents aren't going to be here, and neither are you. What is this bullshit? I... Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I can't even be mad at it. It's just so some skinny guy breaks into a house and is like, "Yo, you're gonna die." Just, you could sum up the story, in, you know, one sentence. I felt a tear roll down my face. He cut my arm and blood dripped on the white blanket. I cried softly and opened my mouth to a scream. His only hand, without a weapon, shut my mouth so hardly I thought my teeth would fall out. A loud muffle came from my mouth. I guess my sister heard, cause she came down the staircase and was in shock. Well, no shit, you know, it just kinda happens. She screamed, and it caught his attention. He dropped me in my own puddle of blood. He walked over to Angelica swiftly. I cried to her to run and get to mom, but it was too late. He took a hold of her. I got up and called the police as fast as I could, explain the situation, and they were on their way. Jesus, that was fucking, you're fast, just, you know, instead of trying to save your sister, you know, you gotta get the cops in first, and you somehow did it so quickly, just be on, you know, but, 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 not, okay, gun, like, I swear, it's under 10 seconds, there was an Olympic game for calling emergency services, sign this girl up. Jellica screamed, and my mom ran down the stairs, my dad after her with a shotgun from his safe. He shot the man, and the man fell across the room. Blood splattered everywhere, on the walls, on the window. It felt like a ride from Seaside Heights. The police finally arrived, and he was sent to the hospital. They examined the house and told us the man was Santa Claus, a serial killer. Usually comes on Christmas Eve, in all the houses with his hook, they finally found him. I was sent to the hospital to get my arm stitched. This story may make you think differently of Santa. So lock your doors and windows on Christmas Eve. Because he was healed. And on his way to court, he escaped. No one knows who he could get. He might get you. Hey, Scotty. Diarrhea is okay. I don't know about you, that's... no oh, shit. I don't know about you, that's the best cliffhanger I've ever heard. That's the best... That's, that's like... Inception cliffhanger. I don't know what I'm saying. Just gonna stop listening to me. Anyway, thanks. That's it. That's the story. That's... That's, that's the fucking story. Okay, so, um... Got escape on the way to court. Is this like a... It sounds like that bad slasher movie. It was like the Jack Frost. The serial killer. It sounds like that. Except worse, because this sucks. Really bad. So, uh, yeah.